In this video, we take the ETM RTR powered cart back to the track once again. We are going to put it head to head against its gas counterparts and see what it'll do with this new mod motor. Let's find out. Came back from China and got Chinese bird flu COVID-20 fucking herpacifilate or something, dude. I'm back though. Welcome to the vlog. We're at the car track. We're about to bust some gas ass right now. ETM RTR powertrain in this Burrell Arts LO206 chassis. This thing's sick. And we're back again with a mod motor. And there's a bunch of people here because there's a race this weekend. We're here on a Friday. And we're gonna we're gonna put a head to head with some real race carts and see what you do since we got some real racers here. So we're here to race. So look at my floppy bumper. Does this make sense to anybody? This is how they do it. Why does it do that? I sort of know, but I'm not gonna explain it to anybody because I don't think I'm right. Used to two wheels, this is just one. It's a little sketch. The guy I bought this from uh, broke his arm and has a titanium rod in it, and that's why he sold it to me. Can't deny my inner Asian, bro. Can't turn down a fucking good deal. Here you go, Kev, getting us banned off YouTube again. Ha! <laughs> they, can't, they can't say anything, dude. I'm saying it to myself. Validation, okay? Oh, oh damn, yeah. look at the co-pet over there, dude. Oh, man. No, look at that one. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, the sport, dude. Damn, son. This shit pops off. I mean, we're not gonna come back, but this entire lot will be completely stacked with trailers. They won't even be able to fit any more people in here. It gets me excited because it's just a new new venture to it dominate. Is. Like, it is. I like winning, you know what I mean? I and that. it's not fun winning when you're only beating like three people. I wanna beat like 500 motherfuckers, you know what I mean? So right now, we got the mod motor on, like I said before. Josh is gonna jump in it, gonna get the amateur driver, get him some seat time, try to run at least 10 minutes flat out on this thing. See how she does, check the temp, check the battery level, check everything. Basically what we're trying to do is figure out how long it'll run, how much motor heat we're getting, that kind of thing, so we can see if it can sustain a full on race. Races are like 20 minutes, so let's start with 10, see what happens. Yeah, bro, you got the lit kit. Always. Head to toe? Where'd you get that jumpsuit? Full factory, um, ENC provided, dude. Like, is that fireproof? Goes. Definitely, yep. Oh yeah. It's at least resistant. Yeah, I mean, this is when you gotta go go-kart race now and then hit the skate park later on the day. I'll let that thing eat. Oh. Well, almost just fucked up the whole shot. <laughs> <laughs> minute I'm not sure Josh is the fastest car driver in the world he can see that after he watches the vlog my opinion of his driving skills but the cart made it 10 minutes so now we'll try 15 minutes after we check it out so I have to say like he was worried but he doesn't know how fast I can jump dude and how high but I'm good bro I'm good <laughs> Look at we got Kevin and Trent on the clock at the track still answering emails poor bastards never get out of the office so they have obligations to fulfill to our customers, and they're here doing it right now. What's up, Trent? Welcome to welcome back to ENC, I should say. Very nice to be back. It's there's, there, back. there's no rest, man. No. Customers don't sleep. It's for all the haters that say that you know we just go hang out all the time. We're at the track pumping out emails. Yeah, definitely a lot more comfortable than last time. Like just getting a little bit more seat time on it, it's starting to kind of figure out like how hard you can push it into corners and stuff. Almost spun it out a couple of times though. Like more under braking because it only has back brakes. So like you get on in a corner and you're like, oh, it like steps out real quick and you have to like correct, but. It's fun, it's fun doing something different for sure. I probably only have like 20 laps total on a cart, <laughs> like my entire karting career. So it's like every lap I'm like learning something, you know? I got a little clip of you getting a pass out there too, so. Sick. We, we, we definitely, was, uh, we're, Was we're, that on like the 12 year old? It was, yeah, it was on the 12 year old, well, but. that's okay, no one needs to know that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he had a helmet on, dude, nobody could tell. Everybody looks like a little kid in a shifter cart. I feel like one. Fucking hey, bro. This thing's holding up pretty good though, huh? Totally, yeah. Thorough testing on, on new parts and equipment dude want to make sure it's, it's up to snuff you know and with something like this high constant load we're fighting heat we're always fighting heat that's just like like i just saw a post on facebook uh a stark overheated on the highway and like locked up the tire and almost killed the guy and then he wrote stark and then they were like yeah we looked at your logs and you were just like pinned for like a long time that's bad and i'm like yeah from from pinning it too long so like we all deal with it electric the, 
the enemy is heat. Same thing happens to a Tesla, same thing happens to a Stark, same thing happens to an RTR. So the name of the game is make sure that the equipment can handle the minimum requirement for the race that you're trying to enter. So that's what we're here doing. It's also 74 degrees right now and it's only climbing, so. I'm already sweating. 74 degrees feels like 107, I don't know. That's 74 in the shade. Prairie City's like this big dirt pit, so whatever it says out there, add like 15 degrees and that's that usually your temp down here. I think we need the like ducting or a fan for the motor probably though. Ducting or the undisclosed, unreleased new era of technology. What could I be talking about? I guess you'll just have to wait and see. Josh almost caused an accident right there, dude. Dude, that little kid was like, get the fuck out of my way. I got a two-stroke, baby. <laughs> for, once, for once in my life, I get to teach this guy something. This guy's on his brakes too damn much. You don't use brakes on a car. Push the gas, baby. You just lift and then get back on and that sets the, the cart into the corner and it'll give you more turn in. Like right here, uh -huh. yeah, that's no brakes. Got that's it. lift and back on. Lift, brake a little bit. Then you're all lifting. Unless it's more than 90, you're basically just lifting. Yeah. Yeah. Turn this man into a carter, one Falcon wheel extra at a time. Two additional wheels for this guy. That's a lot of extra wheels. That's twice as many. Come on. Destroy these little kids, dude. <laughs> I think I'm gonna show mercy just because they're eight years old. This is racing, bro. Stepped into the ring with me. I'm just kidding. I really don't know what's going on. We're just out here building a thing, step by step episode by episode and one day there'll be a product you can buy but not today until then i'm gonna have fun doing it that's right buddy this thing's fun dude i started on dirt bikes and now we're here with carts and i don't know if it's got wheels dude addicting they're all addicting how many more wheels can we get is there things with six wheels we'll swap an amphibian next <laughs> Seconds later. I almost wonder if like your foot hit it or something. Probably oh, like that. Maybe, yeah. Well, that's why we're out here testing, boys. Kink the like throttle line. It was like sticking half throttle on me. I lost it a few times. Bro's railing. Then what happened? Josh is shitty ass engineer. Damn it, Josh. So it's done? Okay. Oh, got it. Second day of testing complete, super successful, cart, 
ran really, really good. I think what we learned is that the performance is really close to where we need it to be, but we need more longevity, so we're gonna have to throw in this all new, never before seen equipment. I'm not even gonna say exactly what that even means, but it is something coming to the RTR, and it's be coming to this cart, and um, the next time you see us out here, we'll be having it, and that'll give us the endurance that we need to hit these 20 plus minute motos. And uh, that's all I got for today. So a little bit of railing, a little bit of carting, a little bit of goofing off. Until next time.